in this video, you're going to be learning about Nmap. But what is Nmap? Nmap stands for Network Mapper, and Nmap is an information gathering tool used for reconnaissance, which means to scout. More specifically, it is a free open source network scanner. Nmap scans hosts and services on a computer network. It sends packets and analyzes the responses. But what is a host? A host is any device that is connected to a computer network. For example, computers, phones, tablets, and gaming consoles are all hosts on a network. From these responses from the Nmap packet, you can find information such as vulnerable hosts on a certain network, open ports, operating systems, version history, software detection, and other vulnerabilities. Now to show you a quick demonstration of Nmap. To run the Nmap command, I'm going to be using a Docker image with a Kali instance on it with a few variations. Basically, all I'm doing is setting up and starting the Docker container. To learn more about the individual commands, you can use nmap with the help switch, otherwise known as a flag, using the command nmap dash dash help, and this will give you more information. Here's an example of a command you can use to scan a website URL. In this case, the website I will be scanning is cybershowin.org, but any website will work. You have to type in nmap dash capital P lowercase n in the website you want. I will be scanning my website, cybershallon.org. I'm using the dash pn switch to skip the host discovery, as I already know that the website is active and online. Nmap scans take some time, especially if you are scanning large amounts of hosts or services. You will just have to be patient, which is, which is a virtue of good ethical hackers. While scanning, pressing most keys will show the progress of the scan. You can see that it's about 65% done in an estimated time of completion at 1 minute and 54 seconds. If you press the V key, it'll change the verbosity level uh, and you can get more information about the scan. Now that the scan is over, we can see that there are three ports open. One port is for connecting using a secure shell and the other two are for connecting to the CyberShallon website. I have a virtual box running a Linux instance of a machine that has many vulnerabilities. I'm going to run a basic scan nmap dash capital P lowercase n 192.168.1.154. Now this nmap scan may take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to cut to whenever it's done, whenever the scan is done. As you can see from the results of the scan, there are many ports that are open and listening, which means that we can connect to the target machine using any of these ports. Some of these protocols running on the ports are insecure. For example, the file transfer protocol or FTP that is used to transfer files sends passwords in clear text that can be sniffed and discovered. The Microsoft DS port, let me find it right here, that runs on port 445 has been known to have many exploitable vulnerabilities. There are many database protocols that run as well, like MySQL and PostgreSQL, that a hacker can connect to a database and if there is no proper security measures in place, then that data can be stolen. To get more information about the services, we can use the dash A flag as demonstrated. Nmap dash A. 192.168.1.154. Now that we know that the scan is actually finished, we can figure out more information about each of the vulnerable ports. For example, we can find out version history, um, and about the vulnerable host itself, we can figure out information like the operating system. In this case, it's a Linux box. And note that this is a reconnaissance tool, but after this, the next stage would be to use custom tailored tools to actually exploit the vulnerable host. And for more videos like this, please check out cybershowlin.org. We aim to educate, equip, and empower.